Hi all, today uh, we're going to be taking a look at Canvas Studio and largely focusing on just two pieces, uh, how to do a webcam recording and how to do a screencast. So uh, we are in Canvas now. Uh, in order to get to Canvas Studio, which is a new tool recently added in the ASD domain, um, the tool's been around for a while, but we just got access to it. It's over here in the global menu bar under Studio. If you click the Studio icon, um, you will end up seeing my library up here. Now, if it's the first time you visited, you're going to see a screen um, that has nothing here yet and a few icons. Um, we're going to take a look here at the My Library. This is a place where you can curate all of your media content uh, and uh, you can arrange it in something called collections. Uh, we'll get into that in a later video, uh, but uh, these are some collections and some videos. You can see that this is a video right here because it has the time 1735. So this is a 17 minute, 35 second video. Uh, these guys over here are collections because there's no time posted on them. All right, the really important tools are up here in the upper right, record, add, and search. And uh, we will get into the add also in a later video. We're just gonna focus on the record button today. So if you click record, you'll get a drop down. So you can do a screen capture and you can do a webcam. We're gonna start off doing a webcam uh, and uh, webcams would be when you are recording yourself. Uh, so for instance, if you are presenting some information or perhaps you're introducing yourself at the beginning of the year, those would be uh, examples of when you might use webcams. So if you click on webcam, uh, what you'll end up seeing is a video preview. Here um, in the preview, we see the webcam, it's functional. We also see down here, this eventually becomes a timeline, but right now it kind of is metering our audio so we can see our microphone is working. If we click here under microphone, um, we've got different choices um, in terms of our microphone. And over here with webcam, if you have multiple webcams, um, like I do, you could choose different webcams. Um, once you've got your audio working down here or verified and you've got your preview here, you're pretty much good to go. You can click the blue start recording button. So let's go ahead and pretend we're making a um, introduction video. We get a countdown and Hi, I'm Mr. Roberts. I am really looking forward to working with you guys and learning with you guys and having some fun this year. Uh, most of our instruction at the start of the year is going to take place here online. So we'll be using a lot of video and uh, one of the tools we now have is Canvas Studio. So I'm excited to share that with you. All right, I'm gonna hit the finish button. Um, you can see here at the bottom that the bar has turned into a timeline. It's got zero to 18. So there are 18 seconds on the video. And uh, if we hit the play button. Hi, I'm Mr. Roberts. I am really looking forward to working with you guys. We can preview our video. Um, there is a box here. It will automatically sort of time and date stamp your video if you want to put teacher introduction in there. So you can put a descriptive name uh, in there and you can click the save button. You also have this option before I save that you can start over. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And when I do that, you'll see that it, in the upper left here, we've got the uploading icon and it is processing. Now, from what I understand, uh, it's lower resolution and over a period of time in the background processes are happening, kind of like in YouTube, where the resolution should kind of get better and better. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's doing a little processing. Uh, once the video's up, you can see you've got your descriptive title. Um, I'm the one who made the video, so I'm tagged there. There's an options button here. Uh, if you click it, you can see your options. You can create quizzes, which we'll get into in another video. You can share the media with other people, either via email or through a link. Uh, you can move it into a collection. Uh, you can replace the thumbnail if you want something different on the front. And of course, you have an option to delete it. So that's really um, the basics around the webcam. Let's go ahead and take a look back up here. Um, we're going to click on a record button in the upper right, and we're going to take a look at screen capture. So screen capture um, allows you to um, record what's happening on your screen. And it's important to note that you need to keep your Chrome browser open. Um, you can screen capture other screens and other apps, but you do need your Chrome browser open. But let's go ahead and click uh, screen capture. Okay, so once the screen capture comes up, now the first time the screen capture is activated, you may have to download, you will have to download a, uh, an open source program onto your computer and um, in order to be able to run this because it's actually recording onto your local computer and then uploading it 
to Canvas. So that's how the screen capture works. Let's take a look down here at our record panel. In the record panel, we have options. We can record just the screen, the webcam, or both. Okay, so sometimes you see videos where you've got somebody talking in the corner, that would be both. Uh, we're gonna leave it on screen cam for this one. Um, you can alter the size. The size, um, if you see this black and white line down here, and there's little handles in the corner, and you can change those. So you can alter the size of your screen recording um, by using these different handles. Okay, we're gonna leave it. Um, you can see here we've got a little metering, audio metering, or my microphone is working. Computer audio is a selection that you could use if you wanted to capture audio while you were screen capturing. So if you were screen capturing something that included video, and you've got to be careful about copyright there, but uh, but you can you can pull that into your presentation as well, depending on what that is. I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, so I'm not going to do that. There is a preferences um, button here. So if you click preferences, it'll pull up a recorder preferences and you basically can um, input your preferred uh, screen shortcuts or excuse me, um, keyboard shortcuts. So um, that's what that's about. I'm going to cancel back out of that uh, and head back in here. So down here is the main bar. There's settings. Um, there's a uh, start draw and zoom so you can actually annotate on your screen and then there's the good old record button if you decided to change your mind you can hit cancel we're gonna go ahead and record okay so the timer starts I've got a countdown down here in the lower left there is a little um, button a pause button with a number of seconds so we're currently at five seconds um, let's just move around the screen a little bit um, I'm gonna click back over to dashboard just so you can see that I've changed what's going on on my screen so right now we're recording the Google Chrome browser, um, we could be recording other items. Like if I minimize my browser and we take a look at my desktop, that's gonna also screen record. And if I pulled up other applications um, inside of this, it would record that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back up my dashboard so that we're taking a look at that. And you can see it's still recording. We've hit 37 seconds at this point. Um, let's go ahead and pause. So we hit 43 seconds, almost 44 seconds, just shy of. Um, you can um, set the seek back to the last pause or resume point or go forward. Um, like I said, there is a drawing tool. It pulls a bar up, up here at the top of the screen. And you can scribble um, or draw lines or boxes or ovals um, if you're trying to indicate. Like, for instance, we were like, hey, um, you know, this is published, published courses up here, okay? And if we... We can hit or we can hit erase. You can you can change the thickness of the line sizes. You can change the the color if you needed to draw a different color. If you were trying to distinguish some things like um, you know you could come over here and go hey in this sidebar we've got a coming up feature and recent feedback those sorts of things. I'm um, if you want to erase what you've drawn you can click the erase button um, and I'm going to come back down and click the edit button to make that toolbar disappear. Here you could trash the video if you're not happy with it and here you can click done so i'm going to go ahead and click done so you can see the process so here similar to the screen with the webcam recording we get a preview down here these little spiky waves are the volume so you can see the level of talking it's got the timeline starting at zero going to point uh, 44 seconds and it's got the play button here you can click play down, down here, here in the lower left, left there is a little, a little uh, button, button a pod all right you guys get the idea uh you should title this i'll just put demo screencast um all right um you can edit the video um if we click edit, we've got some options in here. We can uh, narration, we can add music. So it's got some, some possibilities here that you can play with. You can pull in music, just be careful of copyright and um, you can change your um, resolution. So you've got some options in here. I'm gonna click done, head back over. I've got my title, my description. Um, I'm done editing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit upload. So this takes the local file uh, that's on your your machine and it encodes it and then after it's done encoding it's going to upload it which means it's going to send it back into the cloud-based canvas studio so it's available uh, for you there in your library and you can drop it into your courses so um, i am going to fast forward here okay so we fast forwarded upload is successful it just took a few you know a little less than a minute 
um, for that 44 second video. We can hit the continue button. All right, and it has been uploaded. We've got to go now check for it in Canvas Studio. So we're going to click this link, Canvas Studio, in our global Canvas menu bar. And if all went well, there's our demo screen record. So we can click view to take a look at it. And you can see that it captured um, it captured what was going on on the screen, including my desktop back here. So it's not just recording the browser, it's recording anything that you've got in that window. It's fantastic. You can adjust the playback speed. You can toggle comments on and off. You can mute the, the audio or meter the audio and you can go full screen. So there's some other options here um, in terms of details and comments, insights and captions. Um, under captions, um, one of the things you can do is you can identify English as your caption and click request and it will, it will studio generate your captions so that this is accessible. And that's important when you make a, and you can do this for both your webcam video as well as your screencast videos. Uh, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to hit that, that manage captions in studio generated in order to get those captions in there to make it accessible. So it's currently processing, it's queued. It may take a little bit to do that. We're gonna pop back out here um, to my library and we, okay, that's it. That's the basic functions of Canvas Studio. So we've taken a look at the interface as well as the two options under record, screen capture and webcam. Thanks for your time and attention. I'll see you in the next tutorial.